Yeah. Oh, hey, how's it going? Dan Chandler here on Drum Talk TV with Pete Lockett. How are you, Pete? Hey, exactly. I, I want to try that, but I'm too embarrassed to do it with you here. But uh, the Carnatic music is amazing. We'll, we'll get to that. Right now, we're going to jam on these walkabouts. very important for me you know to, to you know you've got to have, find platforms to you know get your music across and present it in lots of different ways you know lots of different collaborations and and ways of putting together a, a lot of the multicultural influences that we find in in London for example where there are so many communities and so many uh, you know great uh, you know people from all over the world living there and it's, it's a, you know so such an honor to be able to delve into some of those musics Music and food are the things to number one really experience the culture and the things that really bring people together. Yeah, absolutely. You know, unfortunately, we're kind of moving away from that a little bit at the moment with the crazy world scenario. But, you know, music is the one area where we can really, you know, fight against that and try and bring people together, bring different cultures together, different musics on, on every level. You know, so yeah. it's, it's an important battle to fight. Absolutely. Now, I, again, I know you've with so many amazing. Everybody knows many with it i mean it's an endless sort of, uh, you know challenge really yeah but it, it you know i mean i had in my beginning i had six years period I had four four hour lessons a week and uh, that's all i did do anything i just practiced the whole time right that's it that's to really get inside it yeah. it's not it's not you know, it's not really a lot of musicians out there no matter what instrument they're playing i think a lot of people are looking for And I don't think there's any one instrument or craft that you can do that with. It's kind of a conflict, really, with the modern world because we're used to getting everything so fast. We download stuff on our phones. The only thing you can't download on your phone is the the, the NAM app. Right. The, the map is offline. It's right. not offline. It's ridiculous. Anyway, we're used to everything being so fast, um, and then people expect that to 
you know, transfer into every walk of life, including what they learn. And, you know, it's just make people lazy, I think. Do you have advice for people who want to pick up an instrument, which is they're just not familiar with it all, but they're What's the best way to take the first step? Well, it depends, you know, it depends how, how complex the instrument is, but, you know, you've got to go back to how much you love it, how much you inspired listening to uh, people play that instrument. And also, don't give yourself mountains to climb in the first place. You've got to slowly, slowly bring it into your life. Don't, you know, don't ruin it by putting expectations. Yeah. with it you can't pick up a new instrument and to be able to play it immediately and you've got to accept you know you've got to be humble yeah. and learn from people and, and uh, you know take it slowly you've got to carry those buckets of up the mountain barefoot you know it, yeah. it is a journey talk about some music you have out that's available on Amazon by the way well wow, there's loads I just got a new one last year duo with the great Lewis Conti uh, new one being recorded at the moment is with the, uh, the fantastic percussionist Randy Gloss, who's the professor at, uh, at Cal Arts. Yep. Um, it's, I mean, li if, you, if you look at my website, 25 uh, solo releases, so it's kind of hard to go into it all, but there's a lot of fundamentals of it. It's the diversity, you know, yep. the diversity in bringing different elements together, and seeing how, how that sparks different things happening, you know, with all the other elements. One thing changes the others. It's in Singapore. Uh, I think it's on the 3rd of March in the, in the uh, Esplanade Theatre. So, yeah, if you're in Singapore, come down to amazing. And also, in a uh, yeah, I hope to see you.